There are people out there saying females don't train hard enough. There are people out there saying males don't train hard enough. Carol done beat both males and females the fuck up out of her way. Took him off, smashed his head into the leg press, poured his blood all over the machine. That was a black colored machine before we started. That shit is blood, it's another person's blood. Carol's a freak. Let's get it done. Hola, damas y caballeros. We are here with Carol Cantarero and Jared Feather, of course, who has no Spanish name. And uh, what are we doing today, Jared? So today we are training Carol. She is actually an IFBB wellness pro. She's prepping for her pro debut. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, she will be doing a hamstring and glute emphasis session today, which is, you know, appropriate since wellness is very heavily focused on the glutes and hamstrings. I've actually been doing her training since she won her pro card at... USA's. USA's last year. So she won her pro card, then she wanted to build a little bit and uh, I've been doing her programming through that as well. So we're gonna put her through a little session and see how she fares at four weeks out, five weeks? Four and a half. Four and a half weeks Yo. out. Yo, you trying to train? I am. Let's do it. <laughs> Reverse hat good mornings. Three sets of roughly seven to 10 repetitions. Why this and why not a barbell? Why not Smith machine? Why not camber bar? They're all valid variation. As long as they are loading the hamstrings by you tilting your hips back, maintaining a neutral or arched lower back, never rounded because that takes the tension off the hams. It lets them shorten too much. And it of course endangers your lower back. And we wanna make sure that we look at our knees when the movement of the bar is doing this. We don't want our knees to bend too because that doesn't let the hamstrings receive tension. So a huge tip here is a three-parter. One is chest up, two is butt back the whole time, and three is keep your knees straight, not locked out, just like this. And then as you bend, all three of those things apply. You will feel tension in the hams. Go down super slow, milk that deep stretch. That's where the growth comes from. Come up nice and quick and repeat. You'll feel very little loading at the top, but that doesn't matter because this exercise is specifically designed to impose a great deal of tension under the most stretch. Let's get it done. Now, real quick, Carol is like one of the most flexible human beings of all time. She's taken Rom to the next level. Do only what you are able to with a tight lower back. As soon as you start rounding over a lot, a little bit is okay, but if you round over a lot, it's no good. Don't worry about how deep you're going. Make sure your hamstrings are painfully tense. Once that's the case, then you can come up. That's it, up. Go. Good, Carol. You got yes. another one. Ooh. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Go, control, control. Hips, hips. Yes. Slow, up. Go, 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 go. Breathe, Ooh. one more. Breathe. Push those hips back, tight lower back. Push. Up, yes. up, up, Good. up. Yep. I got it. Big chest. Up. Yes. Control, control. Hips back. Up. You go. Yep. Let's go. Three. Big chest. Up. Yes, yes, yes. Big chest, big chest, big chest. Good chest. Up. Breathe. Mm. Not breathe. Breathe. Big air. Big chest. Hips back. Yes. Let's go. Hips. Big. Beautiful. Let's go. Up. Much better. Mm. Last one. Let's do it, Carol. Hips. Hips. Big Hips. chest. And up. Let's go. Go. Done. Go. Beautiful. Ooh. Good shit. Beautiful. Good stuff. How does that feel? Oh, good. Good. Yeah. We also do conclusions now? Seconds. She did a great job. That's it for good mornings. Great job, Carol. Crazy technique. We got fried up hamstrings. Time to go hit the glutes with lunges. Oh, hey guys, <laughs> you're always somewhere else. 
So, lunges. You can do lunges with a relatively short step, not taking really long steps. You know, one or two feet or something. That tends to hit the glutes plenty, but it also hits the quads a lot. We want longer steps to put a crazy stretch on that lead leg glute and a crazy peak contraction of the back leg glute. Running man. That way we get an awesome glute stimulus. All the lunges are good and the biggest rule is do the step length that makes you comfy, that you feel strong with, that you feel the muscles that you're targeting with. But generally speaking, slightly longer is usually better for the glutes. However, don't do some shit that's so long you're off balance and you can't even generate force. Long enough to hit the glutes a lot, short enough to get you lots of power out of the bottom. Gently touch the knee every single time. Always gently touch to the ground or almost to the ground. Come up under control. Another quick question a lot of people have is, do I carry the leg through or do I go again? So just to demo this real quick, if you're carrying the leg through, when you're coming back out of the lunge, some people will just go right into the next one. Or you can stutter step it when you go here, oh, and then you go in, okay? There are no right answers. If you feel comfortable carrying the leg through, that's great. Some people, especially close to failure with heavy weight, get unstable if they have to go on one leg that entire time. The swinging motion looks all cool and athletic. It doesn't really accomplish a ton though, so if you're comfortable doing it, awesome. It gives you a really good flow. If you want to stutter step, bring your leg in, and then go, that is 100% fine. Let's get this done. Multiple sets of lunges in the 10 to 20 rep range. We're gonna try to do these heavy, chest up the entire time. The point is not just to lunge around and use whatever part of your body you can. Good technique is always the key, and Carol over here is a master. One more step, each leg. Boots, boots. Good, make this rep perfect. Big chest. Use the glute coming from that front foot. Good <sighs> stuff, good stuff. <laughs> you feel that in your glutes more, right? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. There you go. So the cue that I'm giving Carol, because she's doing really wide steps, wide steps, as Mike said earlier, they hit the glute better. So when you're stepping, most people tend to push really hard with that back foot. So you see guys, like there are famous videos of like Ronnie Coleman doing 185 in the lunge. But when they lunge, they're going like this and they're really pushing off that back foot. Kind of like they're like trying to sprint. So when you step, you're trying to come up on this foot. It's really hard with the barbell on your back. So when I see people using like 90 pounds, 100 pounds, I'm like, dude, you're definitely not lunging correct. So you're coming up on this front foot, almost like a pistol squat here. And it makes it to where you, this leg is getting the stimulus. The wider that step is, the less weight you're gonna be able to use and more glute you're gonna be able to use, but it's gonna be really hard because you're coming out here to try and stand on this peg and come up on that foot alone. It's very, very hard and you get really unbalanced. So using a lot of weight is probably not necessary. Off right, yes. Good. Front foot, front foot, control. Control this foot too. Step. Control. Up on the front foot. Good. Ooh. Last step. Go. And up. There you go. Done. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Carol did three sets of lunges. Glutes blasted but not blasted enough. She looks like she could take a bit more pain. So it's going to be wide stance sumo squats with a pause at the bottom for a ton of glute and a ton of adductor and why not some quad too? Let's get it done. Sumo squats, last exercise, probably about three sets. Anywhere between five and 15 reps. We'll see how our fatigue is, probably 10 to 15. Slow and controlled on the way down. Full pause at the bottom every single time. You wanna go as low as you can while keeping from rounding over. Now in Carol's case, because she's a total freak, 
she can go ultra deep. You don't have to go as deep, just go as deep as you can until you start to make almost round and then come back up. Let's give it a shot. Right, keep that bar up high, keep that bar up high. Good. Tight shelf, tight shelf, tight shelf. There it is. Big chest, hips open, hips open. Off, up. Good, again. Open, 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 stop right there. Oh, better. Good. Hips open, hips open, hips open. Hips open, hips open, stop right there. Don't valgus, don't valgus. Good, rack. Good. Did you feel the valgus on that? Yeah. Six rep, yeah. Watch uh. that. Boots are tired, I know. Uh. Don't force it into the quads though. Yes. All day, Carol. These are fucking perfect. Big chest, glutes. Yes. Pause just sure. a little longer. Big chest, big chest. Get the glutes underneath you as you push forward. Push forward with the glutes. Yes, good. Big chest. Hips open, Carol. Hips open. You're good. I'm right here. No valgus. Bullshit rep. Close. Create a shelf. Make these reps perfect. Two. You got them. Let's go. Hips open. Hips open. Pause. Use the glutes. Push. 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 Yes. Again. Oh, let's fucking more, go. Kara, let's go. Control. Big pause. No valgus. No valgus. No valgus. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good shit. Oh. Uh, Carol has had a lot of quad stimulus today, but she's training legs three times a week, and her upper volume is tailored such that she's kind of bringing her upper body down, actually. Um, she's four weeks out. The volume is is slightly lower for the upper because she's pretty jacked. And in wellness, they want you to have huge legs, huge glutes, and a very tight, small upper body. So we're actually gonna be doing a couple sets of leg press at the end of all of this stuff that we just did. Uh, it's gonna seem like a lot of quad or a leg volume in general, but most of her other days are uh, glute centric. So she's doing a lot more glute and uh, a lot more hamstring on those days. So a couple sets of quads here at the end. Uh, I think throughout the week she has, you know, eight, 10 sets of quads total. And then the rest is like really hamstring and glute. But we're gonna throw those two sets of leg press in and I think she's ready for it, so. So leg press time, two sets. There's gonna be one mile rep break between, or sorry, within each one of the sets. So we're gonna go, 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 go. Break three to five seconds of rest. She's gonna breathe a bit, try not to die. Pretty close to failure. And then another couple of reps to finish off. She's gonna do that once. That's a set, rack, rest, two or three minutes. Come back, do it again. Feel free to try this at home. Don't take it too far. Don't take like five mile rep breaks between each one. Just do more sets. The quality of the reps the quality of each stimulative portion of the rep tends to degrade. The fatigue tends to elevate the more Maya rep mini sets you do. So I would say two to three is probably the most you wanna do in most situations. That means you do a stretch, rest, do a stretch, rest, maybe do a stretch and then rack or just rack after that first one. Give it some thought. Carol is gonna work her ass off on this. This is the kind of intensity we wanna bring to the gym. There are people out there saying females don't train hard enough. There are people out there saying males don't train hard enough. Carol done beat both males and females the fuck up out of her way. Took a motherfucker, smashed his head into the leg press, poured his blood all over the machine. That was a black colored machine before we started. That shit is blood, it's another person's blood. Carol's a freak. Let's get it done. Let's go. Push. Keep going. Control on the Let's bottom, go. control on the bottom. There you go. Ooh. Down. Ooh. One more, one more, go. Control the bottom. There you go. Ooh. Breathe, breathe. Big air. Good shit, Do your same Carol. technique. Big chest, hits into the pad. Three to five. Good. Let's go. Come on. 
Control! No bullshit, no bullshit. Down to control. Control this one. Control, Carol. Good stop. Push. Last one. Right control, back down. Carol. Go. Good trip. We're here for the Let's pain, go. Carol. Push. Big push, 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 push. Good. <sighs> control, control, control. Push. Carol, you are a fucking machine. Let's go. Keep going. Big push. There you go. Just like that. Smooth as shit. Keep going. Keep fucking going. Let's go. You got this. Yes. <laughs> Again. Breathe. Let's go. Control. Control. Push, let's go. Down, one more, go. Slow and control, there you go. Head back, push. Good, breathe, yes. breathe, breathe. Do not rack, breathe. Reset your technique, big chest, tight lower back. At least three, let's go. Control all of these, go. Oh my God, flawless. Oh, yeah. Again. Come on. Chest up. Push. Go. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> All done. That was fun. Folks, that's the workout. Carol, you did a great job. We are super proud of you. Coach Jared, it was, it was all right. She always she, she was 100%. She, you did great. She does Thank a you. great job. She does a great job. Folks, remember a couple things. One, never ever mess with the El Salvadorians. <laughs> Two, some people are just born perfect. Three, some people gotta hate. And four, some dragons are invisible because they're camouflaged. There's a dragon you can't there? see it. Nope, see, you couldn't see it. Oh. I can tell it's the thermal energy. I got you. Oh. Anyway, Carol, fantastic job. Best of luck yeah. in your show. Coach Thank Jared, you. good stuff. I don't even know what I'm doing here, but I've been Dr. Mike, and this has been Renaissance Periodization. <laughs> Thank you, Dragon's Lair. Oh, yeah. Oh, Videographer Scott says subscribe, like, comment and you know what you don't have to like you can even hate see you later